I probably could make one or two more today. But uh, guys, um, when you watch people streaming online, you know, they're doing it to attract attention to themselves. To have what they perceive as a more comfortable life through economic comparison and competition and conflict. Right? Regardless of how you know, charming they're attempting to be or whatever. You know, with the little girl with the reaction to Ambrosia that I watch. And I'm like, okay. And uh, it's, and you're like, yeah, it is a really good song. Yes, it's, it's one of my favorites. I like how much I feel, like biggest part of me. I think my favorite of theirs is Holding On to Yesterday. I love the violins. Um, what's the other one? You're the Only Woman? That's a good one too. And, uh, but yeah, no, David Pack had a really good voice. Yeah, he was a really good singer. He probably, probably still sings pretty well now. <laughs> Probably, probably does, probably does. And Nice Voice is one of my favorite uh, soft rock singers of the 1970s. I really liked David Peck a lot and, and Ambrosia. And, uh, but, uh, guys, <laughs> still do listen to it a lot on my MP3. And, um, uh, just to get through the day. <laughs> just to make it through the day. And, um... We as human beings, we really have to understand that, you know, like when you watch people cheer for basketball and football players, I used to play athletics and I was better than most people. And a lot of those guys will do anything to win. They will cheat. They will try to hurt you. Okay. They want to perfect their craft and they'll do anything to win. They'll, they'll physically try to hurt you to win the game because you're better than them. Now, I never would physically attempt to hurt them to win the game. If it got to that point, I'm just going to let you win. Like I told Coach Reese Hope Mayfield, you know, so I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to try to take somebody out. You know, if they beat me, they beat me. But I was always confident. It's like, I can tell you this you know, 10 times, you know, if we both get five in overtime, I'm getting, you know, I was always that way. And he thought I was cocky. And I was like, no, I just, I will do uh, what it takes with integrity to enjoy the game and, and attempt to win because it's fun. And the, otherwise, it's just not as fun if you're, you know, if you don't have healthy competition, right? When you're playing sports, because it, it's it's a way of reflecting our survival. Without being barbaric and acting like animals, right? So that's why I liked sports so much. I stopped playing sports. It was my senior year, because you know, my coach, you know, a bunch of gossip said I was a drug dealer because I, I used that my badass reputation to protect. Uh, uh, the nerds that were bullied by the jocks at Deer Valley High School in, in Glendale, Arizona. And all the jocks told the coach I was a drug dealer, which I wasn't. It's just, it was well, my best friend that moved away when, when I got there. He moved back to Detroit. He was a black guy that uh, <laughs> a lot of the people, I was friendly like I was in New Mexico. I was friendly with everybody. As you just didn't, you know. My, my sister, but my sister used drugs. Other people sold my sister. I couldn't stop my sister from using drugs if I tried. Teresa was going to do what all my sisters were that way. They were going to do whatever they wanted to do, regardless of mom and dad's expectations or rules. Okay. And they, they caused my parents a lot of discomfort because they were selfish and did whatever they wanted to do instead of trying to adhere to the very reasonable rules that a lot of the very reasonable rules that my parents both adhered to. Okay. And so it was it was kind of a pain in the ass. And remember later, years later, they said I was spoiled. And they said, no, I just could follow mom and dad's rules. I just thought you guys were stupid. <laughs> it happens. We'll make one more after this. It takes like 50 minutes to load these things. Okay, guys? I love you very much. Well, it's military for you, right? It's government for you. <laughs> Four minutes from a guy who's more intelligent than all the assholes on TV. It takes about 50 minutes to load. That's... That's science.